Hello everyone, I'm Olivia Panay, and you guys, I am super excited to give you another race breakdown. This is one you definitely don't wanna miss and you definitely didn't wanna miss it in real life either. This is Arion Knighton's 20.33 race. Yes, I have it here just for you guys. As you know, this was one of the fastest times we have seen during the 2020 outdoor season. He also ran a 10.29 at the AAU Junior Olympics, also won the gold medal there, but in my opinion, this race was the highlight of the AAU Junior Olympics and I cannot wait to dive in. I want to give you some context on how quick this 20.33 actually is. He broke Tyrese Cooper's national record of 20.62, which was set back in 2016, which was also a sophomore class record. He also broke the 16 year old age group record into putting it, putting it into context, he was two tenths of a second off Usain Bolt's U18 record from 2003. I'm talking 0 0.20 off Usain Bolt's U18 record. When you when we're talking about someone in the same context, the same sentence as Usain Bolt, I'm telling you, this was a fast time. So without further ado, let's see what actually happened. So Arion Knighton is in lane number four, wearing the all black uniform. Let's go ahead and see what happens. If you know me when it comes to the start, I gotta check it out. So let's see what he does for his start. And right now, he has that huge arm swing, which is telling me already off the bat, off the starting blocks, I should say, not off the bat, off the starting blocks. He is getting out super aggressively. This turn is about to blow your mind. Let's see what happens within the next four seconds or so of this race. He's on his toes. He is already making up the stagger on the rest of the field. We're at 3.5 seconds into this race. You guys, this is huge. Let's go ahead and take it a little couple meters down the track and oh my goodness, I'm not even trying to be over dramatic, but Arion Knighton right now has literally the best form. This looks absolutely beautiful. And you're probably thinking, why Olivia is this so beautiful? Okay, let's look at this further. He has this leg extension, which means he's propelling himself forward to the track. He also has this amazing, oh, this amazing angle. This is absolutely beautiful. Number three, this foot. Is Dorsey flexed, you guys? Like that means that is his foot is going to be pounding down into the track. His toes aren't facing up. His toes aren't facing down. It's literally parallel with the track. That is why this form is beautiful, and this is why it, it helps him to get down the track. But let's go ahead, take this a little bit further. And you guys, if we could run that one more time, back to 5.3. I want to point something out. I want you to focus on his spikes. The reason being, and if you watch my illustrations in the past, you know I'm all about not the butt kicking. I'm talking about showing the spike plate. He is doing a great job of literally explaining everything that I've been talking about over these last few weeks with our illustrations. If you were to stand behind him, you should be able to see the bottom of his spike plate indicating that he is not butt kicking. Let's watch that in real time. And you will see, you can literally see the bottom of his spike. It never faces up at all during that time. Let's rewind that one more time. Look at it again, very closely. No butt kicking. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Arion, you're making my heart so happy right now. All right, let's go ahead, move this a little bit further down the track. All right, 6.8 seconds. He has this aggressive arm. He has the chin to hip action, which means he's being so powerful. And you need to run the turn as aggressive as possible when you are a 200 meter runner. You're literally, you're building up all this energy and then you want to slingshot off the curve into the straightaway. I'm getting ahead of myself, but let's see a couple meters down what this looks like. Okay. I'm freezing it right here because I want you, if you were to pay attention to anything that I'm saying, this is what you need to focus on. This is what separates Arion Knighton from the rest of this field. When he comes off this curve, he almost shifts into another gear, but it's actually him just literally using the momentum that he got from the curve onto the straightaway. So the next four seconds, pay attention to what this young man does 
and see how he uses this curve to propel himself onto the straightaway and literally separate him from the rest of the field. Pay attention very closely. Let's watch this in real time. He comes off the turn and boom, right there, sling shots off the curb. But within that, mo in that moment, I wanna rewind it just a tad and I want you to look at the distance of his stride. And I'm gonna leave my dot here on the screen and I'm gonna play it in very slow motion for you to see that, well, I guess that really doesn't help, but like he, just imagine my dot was on the screen. He was right above the arrow. And right now he's about to touch down. Look at that distance from here to here. That is one stride length. Now just imagine duplicating that coming down the home stretch. This guy is, it looks like he's super tall. I don't know how tall he is, but he is absolutely amazing. That's stride length and he's not butt kicking at all, you guys. That is so essential. So let's go ahead and continue this race. Had my moment, I got really excited. We're here at 12.1 seconds, great knee lift, no butt kicking, great extension. He looks amazing. Let's go ahead and continue this race just a tad. You guys, look at this, look at the separation. I can't even see the rest of the people in this field. It's literally Arion Knighton versus the clock at this point. Amazing knee lift again. Again, that Dorsey flex foot, that extension, the arms. Like if you can take a photo of this and put it up in your room, please do. Because I need you to see this every single day and be like, I want to strive and look like Arion Knighton. But let's go ahead, continue this race down. He is not sinking in his hips. He is being very tall, very lean, very aggressive coming off of this turn and we're just gonna i'm done like that's all i have for y'all let's take it to the finish line he is pumping his arms look at that aggressiveness all the way through the line 20.33 look at that yeah he knows he ran a great time <laughs> arion knighton knows he was the man that day 20.33 second place was isaiah davis 21.68 I'm just speechless. I have nothing else to say. That's all my notes besides that his previous season best previous to this meet was a 20.89 and he dropped that to a 20.33. Mind you guys, this is not someone in the 17, 18 age group. He is a rising junior. He is 16 years old. He might be able to run 19 seconds as a junior and I'm not gonna be surprised because he has shown that he has the amazing posture, the amazing form, he is aggressive. He just needs to stay focused and continue doing that. You guys, that's all I have for y'all. And I know you guys like these telestrations. I love giving them to you. Check out my previous ones on the site, on the site and stay tuned for more race breakdowns.